the scrimmage. Split backfield. Bortles got it in the gun. Over to Thomas. Hard to guard these tight ends now in the NFL. It really puts the defense in like a quandary. Do we use a big guy? Well, the big guy's not fast enough. We use a small guy. Well, he's not big enough. They get pushed around. I don't know what you're going to do. Just make sure you're a good tackler after they catch it. Pulls it in. Game 19. Jim Nance, that was the old fly route. When we were kids, that's what they called it. See if you can fly by the defensive back. He did that time. Nice throw and catch. Oh, you see the linebackers moving around. I think they're trying to confuse the offensive line. Intercepted. On his way. The 20, the 10, and he's in for the touchdown. What a play. What a run. Got to love a defense. It's not afraid to take chances, and this defense will get after it. That time they get the interception and return it all the way for a touchdown. The Jags are ready to return the kick. touchback the Jaguars just gave up some big turnover points and let's see if they can hold on to the football this time Phil because we know how crucial it is we talked to the coaches about it this week this was their concern with this team well if you want to stay on the field you better quit turning it over right Jim that's what the the coaches look you you make mistakes on the field they're going to get they're going to be forgiving to a point but you got to be smart you got to be efficient and get the job done still on his feet his fourth catch of the day well that'll make you feel a little better finally getting a first down you're down big in the second half and you're on the offensive side don't look for the quick score just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals The Jaguars are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. First down at the 49. Portals and a sack by Kruger. It is truly a bonus when you can take your outside linebacker and let him rush the quarterback and he can get a sack. Nice job that time by the outside linebacker. Loss of a couple that time. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. Toss to the outside. He is tackled right at the 50. Well, it's third and long. I'll just say this. Be very careful on the offensive side. Coming to the line right at the 50. The Jaguars will set up. The 36 is the first down line. Now the defensive line is shifting to the right. Looking at every option. And he's intercepted. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they ran the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. The Browns have done a whale of a job taking their halftime lead and adding a whole lot more to it here in the third quarter. And yeah, they're just doing everything we saw them do in the first half, just dominating the pace of play and just being more physical than the defense. That's reception number four for him. The Browns are in front thanks to their quarterback. Davis been unstoppable so far. He has been unstoppable, hasn't he? When your quarterback is hot, keep giving the football to him. They've done it, and he has rewarded the coaches. Ben 
Benjamin's able to move the chains here as he's tackled down. All right, coaches, don't get greedy. Be decisive over there on the sideline. Do what's best for your football team. Keep getting those first downs and letting that clock just keep running. You got a big lead here in the second. And they get the sack. Defensive coordinators love this. When they can sack the quarterback without taking any chances, that time they just send the front four, they get the sack, and they didn't even blitz. They're trying to confuse the offense here. Look at everybody crowding the line of scrimmage. The Browns snap it at the 36. Flip to the outside. And he is tackled down at the 38-yard line. He's averaging about four yards a carry. Now looking at third down. The Jaguars with a nickel look here on defense. They'll go shotgun here. Gordon's got it on a pass that had some heat. Hurry up. Two-minute offense. First down at the 48. And he's thrown to the ground. Good cornerbacks become great cornerbacks when you have a defense that can sack the quarterback without blitzing. Good job by the defense. One more snap, and that'll end the quarter. Looking long. Makes the catch in the open field. Fourth quarter and a blowout. Let's see if we can get this game over in a hurry. <laughs> wow, you don't have to say it that way. I'm anxious to see how, how this game ends up and how they play it out. I want to see a team that has some pride. And even though they're getting blown out, to stay in there and keep fighting. Coming up to the line at the 11. The Browns all bunched up here as they get set at the line. The Jaguars. Defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. He's now over 50 yards rushing on the day. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. First and goal. Interception. This one is well out of reach, and that's more of a moral victory for this defense than anything else. Well, it's a good moral victory. Anytime you get an interception, make the other team make a mistake. That is good for your defense. And, you know, I don't know. I don't think this game is over. I'm saying to the offense, let's see if you can go out there and score quick. And let's make a game of this. That's a gain of only a yard. A long field ahead of them at the 10. Quarters formation here for the defense. Second and nine. And it's knocked down. Well, the quarterback can't get him open. He threw to the right guy that time, but the coverage was so good by the defense, uh, nowhere to get the completion. On the way, third down. Playing press coverage to the outside. When you see linebackers like this shifting, they're trying to confuse the quarterback. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do, just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. There's a flag out. Alan Hearns with the grab. Players from both sides making an appeal, but the officials saw it on the defense. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Jim, look at that. The defensive line now shifting to the right. And it's caught by Justin Blackman. All you can do is your job. And that was a good job by the offense, picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. The Jaguars will take the snap from the 25. Jacksonville in the end zone for the touchdown. What do you think the message was for this team as they drive down the field and score a touchdown and at least 
make a little dent into that huge lead. Well, the, the message is never give up. Try to do the best you can. That's what you want to do. And anytime there's a game and it's a competitive situation, regardless of score, do your best. And that's what they did on that drive. He made it. The Browns are back deep, ready to return. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Browns offense back on the field, trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're Let's talking go. about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there, be aggressive, and see if you can score some points. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. First down at the 20. And Davis is tackled right at the 20. Trying to beat the play clock. Screen. Isaiah Crowell makes the catch. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. To the ground. Davis completion percentage 70% on the day. Second down. Look at that. Everybody at the line of scrimmage. The defense showing a blitz. The Jaguars defense now is going to go nickel. Hand off. An open lane. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right. Read the blocking and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. The Browns will take the snap from the 45. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Johnson's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. First down and 10. Looking for some ball is out. And the defense has it. Tackles made. They've got the sizable lead here, Phil Sims, but the one thing they don't want to do is let their guard down and make some silly middle mistakes like they did just there, coughing up the football. You always have to be ready when you go on the field to try to think about what you're going to do. Be sharp. I think you're right. You let the guard down, and that led to that fumble. When you're a corner, you can take some chances when you know your defense can sack the quarterback without blitzing. Good job that time by the defensive front. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. And this goes incomplete as he was looking over the middle. Well, every coordinator in the NFL has a box over there somewhere in that play sheet for third and long. When he wants to try to pick the play up with a first down with a throw down the field, it can be seams, double moves, but they have four or five of those types of plays to pick up third and long situations. Let's just tell it like it is, Jim Nance. His receiver is not a very tough guy because he gets hit. It should have been a complete pass, but he gets hit. He just throws that football on the ground, and the pass is incomplete. They bring back out the offense to go for it. Hey. Press coverage hey. all the way. The Jaguars well, defensive tackle so many times are in charge of stopping the run, but not this time. The big fellow, good move at the snap of the football, gets in that backfield and gets the sack. Last play before the two-minute warning. Time enough to squeeze in one more play before the two-minute warning. Ball comes out. And 
that will officially touch the player, the down player right there. They've got the sizable lead here, Phil Simms, but the one thing they don't want to do is let their guard down and make some silly mental mistakes like they did just there, coughing up the football. You always have to be ready when you go on the field to try to think about what you're going to do. Be sharp. I think you're right. They let the guard down, and that led to that fumble. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the game. First down here after the completion. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. Going for the home run. But they can't connect. They'll try over again on second down. Looks like they're in press coverage here. Portals back in shotgun formation. Blackman going to pull in the bullet pass. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. Timeout won't be used here. They'll go to the hurry. First down at the 30. But then lost it on the hit. That's why you like defenders who are good, punishing tacklers. Make those receivers worry about coming over the middle. They'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit. When you see linebackers moving around like this, that means they're probably going to blitz. Mingo hunts him down and makes him pay. You know, outside linebackers, they're everything all in one. They got to be a pass rusher, a uh, pass cover guy, and they got to be able to stop the run. Nice job that time getting the sack. The Jaguars have it at the 39. Stands in the pocket, and it's batted down. The Jaguars put themselves in a situation where the defense has all the advantage. They know the pass probably has to go down the field on third and long, and they were ready for it. Going for it on fourth down. Quarters formation here for the defense. The Jaguars have it at the 39. Throws the pass. It's intercepted! He's brought to a halt. Phil, can you believe the defense steps up and makes the interception to clinch it for him today? Oh, they love this. Nothing like winning a game with a defensive play to ice everything. And I give the defense all the credit. Just a great play on their part. And that picks up three. Well, Jim, as they got the lead, there's not much time left. Run the football and this clock. Keep it moving. And you can win the game. Take no chances. Don't jump off sides. Don't create a penalty. And put two hands on the ball. The Browns take it from the 23. Josh Gordon with the catch. That's reception. Number seven for him. The Browns in both the first and second halves have featured this wide out. Gordon's been heavily involved, and for good reason. Well, what you do, you always look at a defense and see our strength against their weakness, and that's what they found. The guy catching the football is just better than the guy covering it. Right call here by the coach in this situation. Keep running the football. Keep that clock moving. You have the lead. Just tell your quarterback to tell everybody on offense this. Hold on to the football and don't have a penalty where you could stop that clock. Watch to go deep. This is a tough situation for the offense. Third and long coming up. But it's a good situation also. You're leading the football game. So there's no reason to take a chance and turn this football over. This is third down. Jim, I think this is a blitz. Look how close everybody is to the line of scrimmage. Davis is going to take the snap from the shotgun. Looking to go deep. And the margin is increased with another touchdown. Well, you get the touchdown in the last play of the game, but it doesn't change anything. Uh, the player's going to be happy about what he's done, but the game was already decided. 
Personal foul late hit on the kicker, and that will be a 15-yarder. Jim, it's inexcusable. How can you rough the kicker in a situation like this? Football teams practice this every single day. That's what they work on from the start of training camp. Such a big mistake. We'll see if it comes back to haunt them. When you win in this round, you win in the divisional round, you know now they're just one more victory away from the Super Bowl stage. What a victory here today. It is that dream that you have of going to the Super Bowl. We got a lot closer after today's game, and to beat such a quality opponent gives you confidence. You feel good about everything you're doing. You can't wait for that conference championship game. So for Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now. Crossroads, lost hope and a lost quotes. My heart smokes for the fire that y'all to provoke. For the disbelievers, guess the game was missing the leader. Now they kissing my sneakers, lipstick on my Adidas.